Hey y'all, what's up? So it's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with our new teaching series. Okay, so we are focusing on what is now she wanna drink the water. All right, all right, all right. You gonna learn today. We live in a time when everyone's just so extremely focused on discovering what their gifts are and things like that. And we want to make sure that we're walking in our calling, walking in what it is that the Lord has for us. But let me tell you, before you even start to ask what your gift is, you need to serve first. And we're going to go through a parable. But before we get to the parable, let's say, for example, that you owned a company and you had people that would work for you and those people that worked for you you gave them a gift now there will be some people that did not work for you that'll come up and say hey like can I get a gift too and you looking at them like bro you don't work for me though like you don't serve me and so that is the just of the parable we're looking at today, but also the just of the point that the Lord clearly wants to make. Before you even truly discover your gifts, because a lot of times people just know, but if you don't know, you really have to work at serving God first. So, and y'all know these teachings are short. So let's look at Matthew 25, um, 14 through, honestly, 14 through... 15. We're just going to read two verses. So this is um, in New International Version. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. So let's talk about this. So the first thing I want to address is, is it says that he gave five bags of gold to another and another he gave two and another to one, each according to his ability. So this man, or let's say God in this case, he gave each person a gift or, or a talent according to their ability. Sunray, why is ability important? Deuteronomy 8.18, God gives us the ability to create wealth. What is the ability he's giving you to create wealth? Well, first of all, when we look at this parable, they knew what they had. That one dude, he knew he got five. The other one knew he got two and the other one knew he got one. So when you receive a gift, you know what it is. So what God spoke to me is as if people are having trouble knowing what God has given them, then you need to go a step back, which is the man was going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. So he called his servants and then gave them according to their ability. So you must serve first before God reveals certain things to you. And we're going to talk about this in our identity series very deeply. But here I'll just briefly touch on it. God, he knows everything about us exactly what it is that we like to eat, what we going to say before we say it, what we going to think, any of that, right? And so if it's saying that he called his servants and then gave them these gifts or these talents, then that means that in order for me to receive a knowing of what my gift is, that I first must serve God. And that's literally as simple as it is today. That is the teaching. I told y'all it's quick because we want to be that person that goes up to the company man and say, hey, where's my gift? And he's like, I don't know you. I don't like you don't serve. Like, you don't work for me. Why would I give you a gift? And it's not to say God hasn't given you a gift already. No, no, no. He's given you a gift. But if you want to know how to use it, if you want to know this, that, and the third, you first must come to learn the gift giver first. Serve him. Because I, let me tell y'all, 
we'll fill up the rest of this time with this. I knew that I was gifted to teach at a very young age. You're talking about I would spend time reading grammar and English books and hooked on phonics. I would read for hours every single day. I had an encyclopedia set that I would read through. I had all of these things. And what I would do is when my friend would come over, when we, even when we were in Latin, my walls were wooden, like the wooden soft laminate. I don't know what you call it, but that's what it was up in the room. I was upstairs. And I had a dry erase marker. Don't know where this dry erase marker came from. But what I would do is, is I would write lessons. I would play school. I would be the teacher. So I knew that I had a gift for teaching. At a young age, my sister was walking up the stairs one day and I asked her to help me to sing. And sometimes it comes like a distant rain that gently touches my soul and that was one of the first songs just rain down on me she had like the little recorder it was like a like a tape cassette thing it wasn't the little walkman but it was one where you would stick the tape in there and then you had like the little microphone attached to it and you would record and she taught me how to sing that or she taught me through singing that and we also would sing um uh Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, <laughs> and my mom bought us hymn books, so I knew at a young age, I was gifted in singing, I knew at a young age, I was gifted with wisdom, all of these different things because I was just really intelligent, hyper intelligent, right? But just because I knew I had those gifts did not mean I knew the way in which the Lord wanted me to use them. And I didn't get to that point until I began to fully serve God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. Not just the money you need, da -da 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 -da, but really the understanding you need, the knowledge that you need. You know, I became a fool so I could learn the ways of God. And by me doing that, by me serving God's vision, it became very clear, oh, that's what that teaching gift is for. Oh, that's what this is for. Oh, that's what this, God, that's why I'm able to just learn anything. Oh, oh. But guess what? You must serve first. So that's today's Teaching with Sunray episode. We're talking about what is my gift? And before even fully understanding your gift, you need to serve first. That's why when you go to church and they they be like, uh, do be on the usher board or do things like hand out flyers and stuff like that. People are like, oh, I know my da, da, da. No, they're trying to teach you an important lesson. You have to serve first. Serve, because through serving, there comes understanding. That's like, they do it at church. To, like you want to join the choir as soon as you step in the church they're like first of all you gotta take our membership class then you gotta serve as an usher on the usher board then you have to volunteer in the kids camp then you do that and then you gotta serve serve the vision otherwise guess what you're gonna be serving yourself and we don't need no self-serving prophets no self-serving deacons no self-serving pastors no self-serving singers none of that because then what happens is a house divided against itself can't stand because you're serving your own vision. And this kind of goes back to a video I did before, which talks about why you must learn to serve, why God has to give you a servant's heart, okay? So if you want more details on growing a servant's heart, definitely go back and watch that teaching, all right? But I love you guys so much, and I'm praying that this series is one that opens your eyes up to what your gifts is, but actually identifying the purpose of them and kindling that fire which is going to be our next teaching, Kindling Your Fire. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today.